Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Bill 255 looks to bring back the choice for GovGuam employees and retirees. Senator Pete Oterlahi and Speaker Tina Munia Barnes's measure would allow GovGuam's negotiating team to select the top two health insurance provider bids instead of allowing one company to win the bid. Senator Terlahi has said he experienced issues with sole provider Aetna, and he's not alone. Speaker Barnes also says she's gotten a litany of complaints from Aetna subscribers. May Duarte is one of several Aetna subscribers who have had issues with their coverage in the Philippines. Even Senator Terlahi said he had problems with a letter of authorization. They were told everything would be taken care of in the PI, but Duarte says that was far from the truth. When we got to the PI, they needed, uh, the Philippines office needed the LOA from Guam. Um, so I was very adamant as far as not leaving the office. I was insisting that we get a hold of Guam and we get the LOA from Guam because we're here and I have a procedure that needs to be done. Now, um, there were some patients that were, that were not as fortunate as I was. Previous healthcare providers, once you get the LOA from Guam, you just go to the clinic and show up with the LOA. They have everything there. An informational hearing with Aetna fell a little short on the information end when representatives from the company told senators they couldn't answer questions since any questions would have to be run by the stateside-based company's bosses. You have premiums already been paid to Aetna, so why is it that the delay of the services or information? Things have been so bad that even the Mayor's Council of Guam passed a resolution asking senators to allow more than one health insurance provider to service GovGuam retirees and employees. And while many have had their unfair share of problems with Aetna, Duarte, like the Mayor's and Senator Terlahi, says she just wants the freedom to have a choice. I like choice. And that's just my personal preference. I'd like choice. I'm an active government employee. I've we've always had the option. A public hearing for Bill 255 is scheduled for Monday at 10 a.m. at the Guam Congress Hall. The bill has been referred to Speaker Barnes's committee. So if you'd like to submit testimony, you can email it to speakerbarnes at guamlegislature.org. For Guam News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.